Hey guys, it is that time of year, time to finally put my autumn and winter clothes to storage and take out my spring and summer clothes. We've had incredibly warm weather all of a sudden in the Netherlands and I am actually going to Paris this weekend, which I'm really excited about. And it's gonna be really nice and warm over there as well, so I want to wear some nice kind of, you know, spring ish clothes and i thought i would just film the process because i really enjoy watching these videos for some reason i find them very entertaining to watch so before we get started i just want to let you know that i have no intention of kind of getting rid of half of my wardrobe just to replace it with new things again i know those gigantic kind of like wardrobe clear outs are really popular on youtube right now where people are just getting rid of so much stuff but i personally find that really wasteful you know fast fashion is um one of the bigger problems in the world nowadays and even though i do buy most of my clothing from um, inexpensive clothing stores it is more of a budget thing for me i don't buy clothes with the intention of getting rid of them very soon and things don't usually break on me very quickly either because i do try to take really good care of my clothes i would say most items live in my closet for about three to ten years at least um three years is like a really short time like sometimes i will have bought something that turns out to be just a really kind of seasonal fad and it goes out of style really quickly and, and then i'll notice i've just stopped wearing it after three years but in general it's more towards the kind of like 10 year mark um, unless something breaks or shrinks or just something else happens to it that i can't wear it anymore and that is also why you will see me wearing the same things time and time again in my videos i just don't see the point in buying new stuff or like a whole new wardrobe every season that being said my closet is pretty full i have a lot of stuff and i don't wear all of the things that i currently own and i do think that it's a waste to just leave them hanging when i'm not using them um, anyway, so I moved in November and when I moved I already kind of sorted through my clothes And then when I put everything in my closet first time I sorted through as well But I just want to have one more kind of sweep through my closet to just make a little bit more room and um, Get rid of anything that is damaged or um, I have really fallen out of love with So the first thing I'm going to do is go down into our storage room and Take my clothes. So yeah Let's go. All right, here we are. I need these. Okay, so I have my bag of spring and summer, whoops, spring and summer clothes here, but I do think it would be a good idea to take all the uh, wintry stuff that I'm gonna put away out first and also kind of sort through what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep and then start putting stuff in. <laughs> Seems like the more logical way to go. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna sort through this, pull out everything that's super wintry and then see which items I want to keep out of those. Okay, here is the pile of all the things that I'm not going to wear anymore until next autumn, I think. Um, it's not a lot, it's mostly my warm sweaters. Here in the Netherlands, most of the year the weather is just kind of meh. It can actually get pretty cold still all throughout spring, especially like at night or, you know, just sometimes it does get really cold. It can even freeze still. So I don't want to get rid of everything that's warm. I definitely want to keep some layering options. So I still have a few of these lighter kind of knits that I can just throw over a t-shirt or something. Yeah, just to be sure. And I have some like hoodies and warmer things that I do still want to keep. What's this one? Oh, my Batman sweater. <laughs> Definitely keeping that one. Super autumnal items like this burgundy furry vest and this furry piece right here. Those are going to go into storage. Not very successful at <laughs> the purging so far, but that's okay. Like I mentioned, that wasn't my goal. I generally, I, I will like most of what's in here. I haven't cleared out much room yet either, but most of this is stuff that I can wear year round. So that's good. I have it organized by color. So I have my lights over there and then my kind of goes into darks. I don't have a lot of colors. You can see this is pretty much all the color I own. And then I have my skirts down the side here. Down here is where I had all my sweaters. So I decided to keep a few lighter ones out 
just for now for spring because it can still be a bit chilly so I have two there and then this is where my dark ones were so I have two of those there so I think I'm gonna put all of those into one basket these two are underwear and socks like socks and then um, tights and things like that and then this drawer has shirts I have like long sleeve shirts and short sleeve shirts and I think I'm gonna have to add a lot to this so we'll we'll see how I do with that and this is my um, jeans and just kind of yeah bottoms I'm just gonna have a really quick look at all this and see whether there's anything I'd like to get rid of and then I'm gonna Take out the spring and summer clothes. Now this is one of those items I'm just so on the fence about. I have been for years. It is a really pretty Jane Norman dress um, that I've had for years and I have worn this once. Not because I don't like it, but because I never really have any place to wear this. I do really like this. It's very flattering. I, it's a really pretty dress, but I've had it for years and years and years. Only worn it once. But then again, I'm also thinking this is one of my very few kind of special occasion dresses, so when I do have a special occasion, I'd like to wear it. I have maybe like two or three in total. The thing is, I, I don't have that many special occasions, but when I do have one, I would like to have something to wear. Oh, so hard. I'm not even sure this still fits me. I've had this since I was a teenager. Maybe, maybe I should try it on and then decide what to do with it. Okay, it does still fit, but seeing it on me, I'm not sure if this is something I would ever wear. I, I don't really see myself wearing this out, if I'm honest. Yeah, it's it's just kind of weird. And I used to love stuff like that, but my style has gotten a lot more basic since I was a teenager, so I don't know. I, I'm not that into this bit, like the beading and everything. It's so pretty and I've only worn it once. Maybe this is one of those pieces that I might actually try to sell. I have never ever sold clothing in my life. I have never actually sold anything, I think online. Pretty sure I haven't. This may be actually a good one to do that with. Because it is really pretty, it's just not my style anymore. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I wouldn't pick this over the other um, special occasion dresses I have, so even though it hurts a lot, I think it is time to let this one go. This piece in the front here is one of my favorite pieces I currently own. It's a beautiful jumpsuit. That one is going to get a promotion to its own hanger. <laughs> it's kind of in with my special event clothing now because it was obviously too cold to wear this in winter, but I do wear this a lot just casually in summer. It's a pretty casual piece, so I'm gonna give this its own hanger. And the piece that's behind it, I feel like maybe I should get rid of this, but I really don't want to because I love this so much. This is another one of those pieces that I bought just out of love and I have never worn it. I haven't found the occasion yet to wear this because I don't have anywhere to wear it to but I feel like this is such a perfect dress for like a wedding or something. I'm gonna have to tell my friends to hurry up and get married so I can wear this dress. Even though I haven't really had a use for this one yet, I am not ready to give this up because I love this one so much keeping that one. This is another one of those pieces that I keep pulling out every time I do a wardrobe clear out because I don't wear it and I keep putting it back every time because it's so beautiful but it's just uh, yeah again it's not my style anymore but I used to love this so much and it is super gorgeous and it was quite pricey as well so actually if I do decide to sell that Jane Norman dress I might sell this one as well oh it's so pretty maybe I should just start wearing it again <laughs> This is another dress I pulled out because I don't wear it anymore and I wanted to see why I don't wear it and I can see why now. It just doesn't fit me well. Um, like you can see this, it's bad news, always bad news. Um, yeah, it keeps happening too, it's just too small around the boob area <laughs> and yeah, it's just, it's just a weird, weird fit for me. Um, it's not cut for my body type, I feel. I, I am wearing jeans underneath it, by the way, so that's why it looks a little bit weird, but I just never picked this dress. I do really like the color in theory, but it's not a color I wear, so yeah. I think it's time to get rid of this one. I really, I haven't worn this in such a long time. And I'm not that into the neckline either, so yeah. I think it's time to part with this one. Same goes for this green faux leather jacket. I don't know, I bought this? And I can't actually remember wearing this. I'm sure I have worn it because it's, I mean, you can tell it's been worn. Um, but I don't remember what I used to wear it with and I have no idea what I would pair it with 
if I were to wear it now. Plus, I have like six other faux leather jackets, so it is really time for me to part with some. And I think this one won't make the cut, so yeah. I feel like it's a little bit juvenile too, maybe. Which is funny, because this pink one, I do really like and do actually wear. And they are super similar. But for some reason, I just do reach for that one and I don't pick the green one ever. So I think it's time to say goodbye. Now, this is one of those items that I think I shouldn't have bought in the first place, maybe. Because it is super on trend from like two years ago or three years ago with the peplum bottom and the cool shoulder cutouts. It's just really dated right now and not trendy anymore. So I was gonna get rid of it, but then I put it on and I absolutely love it. So <laughs> I still really love this. I think it's a very flattering cut. So I'm gonna hold on to this and if I do wear it this summer, I'm gonna keep it. And if I don't, then I'm gonna, you know, try and find a new home for it, I think. But I, I'm pretty sure I am going to wear this because I really, really like how this looks still. This piece I am frustrated with because I keep trying to wear this in different outfits because I really like it, but every single time I just end up looking like a preteen and I feel like this is just not really age appropriate anymore. And I know there's no such thing as age appropriate, but I just don't really feel comfortable in this anymore. So even though I do like this, I have no idea how, how to combine it in a way that looks good. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. Now this skirt is a similar story. I would have adored this if it was longer, like knee length, but it is so short. I actually remember this being longer too, but I also remember putting it on a few times and thinking, wow, it's way too short for this outfit. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be way too short for every outfit. It's just too short for me And it's like a bodycon skirt. So with it being so tight and hitting like mid-thigh I just feel like it's a little bit inappropriate and I don't feel comfortable wearing it again It's my personal opinion. I don't ever really think clothing is inappropriate um, if you rock it But I just don't feel comfortable in stuff like this. That's kind of too sexy in my opinion So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one as well Even though I love the color love the style if it happened twice as long might have been one of my favorites all right, so here's where we're at now. And actually, if I can, I would... Oops, sorry, I'm falling off because I'm standing on the bed. Um, if I can, I would like to move all of my skirts into one of these baskets or maybe one of the drawers just to free up a little bit more hanging space for actual tops and dresses. All right, I have freed up a little bit more space there by putting all of my knitwear. I've consolidated all that to this one drawer that I can just reach for if the weather does get colder. Um, but other than that, yeah, I have this one that's still empty, I can fill that up and I have quite a bit of space left in there but still, this drawer is pretty full so I I'm, I'm still gonna have to sort through this one I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna keep all of this because this is one of the drawers that I did sort through pretty recently This, <laughs> all of this is my spring and summer clothing I'm gonna have to find places for all this but I'm also gonna sort through this and see if there's anything I can get rid of in here, so Let's get started then. This dress I absolutely adore but I don't wear it much I feel like this is another one of those more like special occasion dresses and I'm not sure if it still fits me but since I love it so much I'm gonna try it on and if it still fits me I'm gonna keep it even though it's a occasion dress and I'm gonna vow to wear it more casually this year <laughs> let's try this one on it does fit oh uh, man I feel like this dress is an accident waiting to happen because it's strapless, it's super low and it is super short. So you have the whole kind of like never bend over problem. But I just love this so much. I will have to figure something out for this dress because I cannot let this go. Plus I already look naked in it because it's pretty much the exact same color as my skin. It, this is just... I don't know what to do with this one. I, I love it so much. I think I'm gonna keep that. Oh, I love it. I love it so much and it's so weird for me to wear, but 
I just know I'm not ready to let this one go yet. It's too pretty. This dress I have shed so many tears over. I bought this dress when I was a teenager still, hoping I would be daring enough to wear it in a few years. It is open back, so you have to wear it without a bra, and that was kind of like a big deal to me for a long time. But by the time I was kind of, you know, confident enough to wear this, everything fits beside that part right there. I cannot get my breasts into this dress. Unfortunately, I have worn it, and seen pictures of myself in it and it was very very bad so no as much as i love this dress absolutely adore it i think this is a good one for the to sell pile it is zara and it's really really beautiful has barely been worn so yeah i think i'm gonna maybe if i do decide to sell it all that one's going on there as well all right so first things first we're looking a lot more colorful here <laughs> that usually happens around spring and summer so I have hung up everything that needed hanging. Those two drawers, well, like I mentioned up here, I have my knits at the moment, anything that's still warmer. And then down here, I kind of have my bottoms, I guess, like summery bottoms. This is a row of skirts. These are some skirts. These are some summer dresses, kind of like very casual lounging dresses for when it's like too hot to do anything. I usually take these with me on holiday to Slovakia in the summer and then here is a pile of shorts. I'm not 100% happy with this, so I may redo this at some point, but it's good enough for now. I always underestimate how long this takes. I already need to get started on dinner soon, so I think I'm just gonna take everything down to the storage again. I have vacuumed away two bags of clothing. There we are. That one seems to be broken, which is a shame, but everything fit in this, so it's quite all right. I still have to do my shoes as well. I have this whole entire box of summer shoes. For some reason, I have a load of summer shoes, even though summer is super short over here in the Netherlands. Summer shoes are just so much prettier <laughs> than kind of year-round or winter shoes, but this is a problem because I don't have this much storage. I think even if I do put the winter shoes away. So let me just grab my winter shoes and kind of all season shoes and see what we have. Oh my gosh. All right, so these are all the shoes that I had out. Some of these can definitely go into storage for summer and some of these I think I should actually get rid of. So let's start in the back here. This is the first pair that I think I should maybe try to sell. I absolutely love these shoes, but I have barely worn them. Can't seem to make an outfit with them, but I think someone else might really love these, so I think I'm gonna try and sell those. Um, these can go into storage, super comfortable, high, warm, fuzzy boots. Over the knee boots and my tall boots can go into storage as well. This is another pair of shoes I'm afraid I'm gonna have to sell, but just because I've worn these like twice. I don't know how to combine these in an outfit. Oh, they are dirty though, I do need to wash them first, but uh, then again, I do think these will be, sorry, I'm just sitting down here. These will be really good for like style revival videos and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna see about those. Those should definitely get rid of them, never wear them, love them for video and photo shoots. So, ah, uh, might just keep those. I can't sell these because they're damaged on the inside there, but yeah, definitely keeping those. Um, and I'm looking to replace those with some actual like more investment kind of trainers because these were 10 pounds at Primark I believe <laughs> and I have just worn them and are about to fall apart so yeah these I wore a lot back in high school still and now I keep them for uh, costume purposes these go perfectly under all my kind of like fantasy costumes and things like that so I'm keeping those honestly I only ever wear these to concerts so I'm not sure if that justifies keeping them but they are as you can see pretty much all of my wintery boots are heels and these are the only flat ones so i think i'm gonna keep them actually these are some running shoes i'm gonna keep those and i'm gonna keep my uh, wellies as well i'm definitely keeping those but i'm thinking i may put them into storage no i won't because i have a few spring outfits that i want to wear these with definitely keeping these and these are my most worn everyday shoes so i'm 100 percent Hanging on to those. All right, it's not too bad actually. I thought there would be more, but I do believe I did a pretty big bird last year. Anyways, let's go through them then. It's one of my newest pairs and one of my absolute favorites. I am head over heels in love with this pair. I'm pretty sure I'll be wearing this a lot this summer, so definitely hanging on to those. These 
perfect. Love them. Super comfortable. Super pretty. Definitely be wearing those. These, I'm gonna have to be honest with myself. I've been hanging on to these through all of my kind of purging sessions for years and years and years and never actually worn those. So if I don't wear them by the end of this summer, I'm gonna get rid of these. That pair. Oh my gosh, guys. As you can see, this is brand spanking new. This is that one pair that I just couldn't admit to myself that it doesn't fit me. And this will never be comfortable to me. I've even tried to put one of those jelly pads in. Two jelly pads even. Nope, this is too small for me. So I think I'm gonna try and sell those because they are gorgeous and I would love to wear them but I can't. Strappy sandals, I really like these. They're really cute plus they're real leather so I want to get my use out of those before I uh, get rid of them. So definitely gonna be wearing these. Same thing with this, black strappy sandals and these are flat so that's really nice for like high summer and holidays and everything. So I'm definitely keeping those. I do think I'm gonna get rid of these flip flops just cause they're old and I do have a newer pair that I've already bought. So I don't need more than one. So I'm gonna get rid of those. These two pairs, um, <laughs> I feel like they are pretty childish shoes but you may have noticed I do tend to dress a little bit more uh, juvenile or kind of like youthful in summer so I'm gonna see whether I wear these or not and if I don't then I'm gonna get rid of them. I really like this pair I only bought this pretty recently I believe two years ago maybe but it is a little bit uncomfortable because the lace kind of like is really rough against uh, bare skin so they're not very comfortable to wear but I'm gonna see if I wear them this year and same goes for that one. And then I have four pairs of flats and uh, I like these all, so I do think I'm gonna keep all of these. Although I have to see whether I wear these at all or not. And if I don't, I'm gonna have to get rid of them. I have all of my seasonally appropriate clothes to choose from now and it's all looking nice and organized. I still want to organize all of this by color, I think just to make it look a little bit nicer. But then again, it's a drawer and it all fits, so that's good. Maybe find a different solution for those things, but yeah, I'm really happy with where I've gotten. So I think I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching how I clean my closet out for spring and summer. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more videos. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, I will have a link in the description box below. Thank you so much. There'll be another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!